Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now we have some awesome news as the Rimats Nevera set the Nürburgring lap record for production EVs. And this is an amazing feat, of course, because the Tesla Model S Plaid did it in 7 minutes and 25 seconds, whereas the Rimats Nevera bested this with no less than 20 seconds. So he did it in 7 minutes and 5 seconds. Which is amazing, considering that the track conditions were not optimal. It was a little bit too hot. The track was too hot, so the tires were actually melting along the way from the heat of the tarmac combined with the heat of driving. So in a little bit cooler weather with a perfectly dry track, a sub seven minute would actually be possible with the Rimats Nevera. But I thought it would be interesting to dive into the nitty gritty details of how much different this actually was compared to the Model S Plaid run. We know that there's a 20 second difference, but where was the difference made? Was it at the start? Was it through the corners? Was it in the high speed sections? Was it all the way at the end because the Rimats Nevera actually was limited to a top speed of 350 kilometers an hour? where I know that the Model S Plaid never reached the full 300 kilometers an hour on the track in that uh, lap record. So let's dive into it. Now, as the cars are driving past the start and finish line, you're moving into the Sabine Schmidt corner and then they are on their way to uh, Hudsonbach. And Hudsonbach is actually a very technical section with a lot of left right turns a very interesting section to drive as well and uh, it is here that the difference is already visible on the laps that the Nevera is already quite a bit faster now at the end of Hudsonbach they are moving into um, Hocheichen and it's here that the first point is where I will stop at the exit of Hocheichen and where we will measure the time difference. So we're only about two kilometers into the race and we are already seeing that there is a difference of 42 seconds for the Rimans Nevera and 44.15. Now the 15 is the frame count on a 25 frames per second basis. So it's a little over four and a half seconds in just the first two kilometers. That is just huge that difference but let's continue from the same point and uh, see what this brings us now as they are moving over Quiddelbache Heu uh, into Flugplatz of course the high speed section of the track this is uh, going into uh, Schwedenkreuz this is where the Nevera obviously shines because of the high speed and because of the high horsepower um, it is able to reach the higher speed a lot faster now here we are at the end of Schwedenkreis and ready to dive into the Armberg corner and once more if we look at the difference between the two cars we have a 113 and a half more or less and if we measure the Model S Plaid at the same point it's a 119 13 so um, actually that's already a almost six second difference just from that short high speed section the Rimats Nevera was able to gain another two seconds uh, which is awesome and then we come into one of my favorite sections of the track which is uh, Fuxerer and this is downhill uh, a very high speed section again and that will dive into the um, Adenauer Forst, where we have to run wide a little bit and then tuck it in again. And then we have another high speed section towards uh, Metzgesfeld. So here again, slowing down in Adenauer Forst and picking up the speed again. This is where the Nevera really, really shines. The next corner, Metzgesfeld, and this is the turn in uh, where they need to slow down. So we have the highest speed section, slow speed, and then again a high speed section. And here you can see 2 minutes and 3 seconds for the Nevera and 2 minutes and 12 
seconds. So at this point, it's already uh, nine seconds behind on, uh, on the Nevada. But let's continue. So um, yeah, this goes into Kallenhardt. We have uh, a very, very fast section there, but also the uh, infamous miss hit miss where I see that the top speed that the Nevera is having is 141 in the corner, or actually I should say the lowest speed in that corner is 141. Uh, if we move to the Model S Plaid, we can see it's 147. So the Model S Plaid is a little bit quicker through the corners. The weight is roughly the same for both cars. It's about 2.3 tons for both cars. And I would expect a lot more downforce, so a lot more speed with the Nevera. But it seems that the Model S is capable of going a little bit quicker through the turns. So with the Nevera we already passed Weersiphon and we are on our way to uh, Breitscheid entry actually. And uh, this is uh, a really interesting section as well. Where again we are going uphill now. But the power is going to affect both cars of course. But both cars have more than 1000 horsepower. So that is not really an issue. So again going uphill getting that speed in a very short distance is where the Nevera really shines and where those additional 900 horsepower actually come into play. And here the Riemanns Nevera is already at Kesselschen and doing a very high speeds going into uh, Klostertal as well. And then it will the next corner will be the Moodkurve where uh, it definitely has to lift off so yeah it's doing that and then we have a small right hand going to uh, Stylesdrecke and that's just before the carousel where we have our next measuring point so here in the corner which is almost a hairpin turn the Rimats Nevera is doing 75 kilometers an hour now if we go uh, further to the uh, Model S Plaid, then we can see that it is doing 86 kilometers an hour. But if you look at the time difference at this point already, we have 357 and about, let's say, 20 seconds. Uh, the Model S Plaid is doing 411. So we are already 14 seconds in a time difference there. Um, we're about two thirds of the way, so it is still gaining time. 20 seconds, we're at 14 at the moment. So the time um, gain on the Model S Plaid is gradual. And you can see roughly the same speeds. Uh, they are going through the, uh, to the carousel. And then the Nevera is already on the way to the Hoer 8 which is also a fun section. Uh, I like driving that and then going all the way into uh, Flansgarden at, at the end. I love that because it's a very sp fast section and I love the way that the road looks there. So we have a little bit of uh, track time here before we do our next measuring point. And that is uh, coming up. Um, we're going here into Eschbach. And from there we are going to YouTube Corner. Um, this is a very tricky section where a lot of cars crash. That's why YouTube has its favorite spots there. And again, let's see what the car is doing here. 506 for the Rimats Nevera at 167 kilometers an hour. This is in the middle of two right-handers. And if we look at the Model S Plaid, we have a 520, so roughly the same time there but a 169 so they're roughly doing the same speed at that point but there's already a 14 second difference so in the last section that we covered now there's not really that much of a difference now let's see towards the end what the car can do there so here is going into Flansgarden nice right hander 
and then it's a very fun section. I love the way it looks there and uh, where you have that deep vision, that far away vision of the car. Into Schwalbenschwanz, so there's a left hander and then we have the Kleine Carousel. After the Carousel there is only one corner left and that is uh, Galgenkopf where you have to turn in left, run wide and then bring it in back near the end to get to the stop speed as soon as possible. Now we're going to measure here from the bridge how much time the Nevera actually gains. So here we see the Rimans Nevera crossing the bridge at 6.26.19 and if we look at where the Model S Plat crosses the bridge it's a 6.42. So that's a difference of 16 seconds when there's only the very long straight that is left with uh, a little bit of a corner into Tiergarten and Hogenrein. But uh, the main difference has already been made and here is where the Nivera can actually shine because of its top speed which was limited to 350 kilometers an hour because of the road tires that are on there. Uh, with special tires it would be able to get to 412 and maybe with lower temperatures as well but um, yeah so 350 but the Model S Plaid never reaches 300 kilometers an hour so yeah the difference is uh, very obvious and this is where a lot of time is being gained so this is the point where the cars need to start slowing down for going into Tiergarten and they have reached their top speeds here and could have taken full advantage on the straight. Now uh, we are at 6.48 for the Nevera and by the time that the Model S Plaid reaches that point the Nevera has already finished at 7.05 but we are at 7.08 in terms of the time. So here is where in just that straight the Nevera actually makes a 4 second difference. That is just so so crazy and um, of course the uh, the plat is going to finish a little bit later well actually 20 seconds later in total of course because it made all that difference and here it is turning into the starting line again and being there at a 725. Now comparing these lap times has brought some surprises to me. First of all, I was very surprised that the Nevera was already able to get a four second difference in the first section of the track after only two or three kilometers. Now, if it would have been able to keep that pace and that difference with the Model S Plaid, then it would have been, if we calculate to the 21 kilometers for the entire circuit, then it would have been close to a minute of difference so that also testifies to how amazing the Model S Plaid is in fact and we've seen that the Plaid is handling corners a little bit faster than the uh, Nevera which was one of the biggest surprises for me as well but yeah there is no beating a hypercar of course and as I said at the beginning the Model S Plaid is a family sedan with seating for five well the Plaid for four and a half the middle seat is not so comfortable anymore and uh, a lot of luggage space um, and that is competing with a pure hypercar which is a very beautiful but purposeful built car. Uh, Riemann say it's uh, more like a hyper GT uh, but yeah it's a hypercar nonetheless. I hope you found this interesting if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't meet out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.